Hello interwebs, my name is Samurai and welcome to Dreamforge. Thou gleeking ill-breeding Moldwarp. Dang. Shakespeare? I made note cards. <laughs> Disney is one of my favorite things in the world. It's right up there with dogs, Winnie the Pooh, and Lord of the Rings. I have weird favorites. But we all know they don't always get things right. <coughs> Belle doesn't have Stockholm Syndrome. <coughs> we would need a whole nother video to go into the Disney princesses. But no, today we're not talking about sparkly Disney princess stuff. No, we're going far more sinister in this video. The villains. <laughs> <laughs> But really, how evil are the villains? I mean, sure, they're all bad news in Disney movies, but how many crimes, actual legal crimes, do they commit? Well, let's find out. So we're going to be using today's standards to determine their crimes, because, let's just face it, it's a little bit easier to do that. And I am a huge proponent for knowing your time period, but... In this case, I will make an exception. Let's start off with one of my personal favorites. Scar is the villain in The Lion King, and he is the brother to The Lion King, Mufasa. Scar started an uprising with the hyenas in order to bring down the current king's rule, as well as get rid of the heir, Simba. Except he didn't do that very well. He just blamed Simba for it and made him run away and cry. And then when Simba came back, that kind of bit him in the butt. Scar's crimes boil down to fratricide, which is the murder of your brother, framing Simba for it, and causing insurrection amongst the hyenas. Cruella de Vil. Brilliant businesswoman. Completely insane. What was her thought process? Why did she think that dog fur, not just dog fur, Dalmatian fur, the fur of the firehouse dogs, everyone knows, everyone loves, why did you think that that would be fashionable and in? How did you think that conversation was gonna go? Gruella, darling, you simply must tell me. Where did you get that fur coat? I clubbed and skinned a baker's dozen puppies. Oh, 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 oh. oh you're serious. Yes. Yes, well. <clears throat> you're a loony too. She's pretty messed up. Her crimes stack up to theft, reckless driving, and animal cruelty. While she didn't go through with it and kill any of the puppies, she was still keeping 101 Dalmatian puppies in a house with no supervision except for Horace and Jasper who don't really count. You know, if she hadn't stolen those puppies, she could have gone through with her original plan. Bad oh move. Oh my gosh, you're right. Dude, you would make a better villain than she does. Next up is Ursula. Now she openly admits to having been a nasty, whatever that means, but we really can't know her crimes, only that they were enough to get her exiled to just a little bit outside the border so that Ariel can go and talk to her at any time. It was not an effective exile. Like, you're king of the entire ocean, Triton. Like, you can't just banish her to the middle of the Pacific or something. Nope. Just a little bit outside my kingdom, my, my general kingdom's land. Yeah. That'll do it. Well, that was a poor decision. Point being, as a villain, she's actually one of the best. She made an open and fair deal with Ariel that she signed a legal binding contract. It even points out in the movie that not even Triton can break it because it is legally binding. Ursula at no point says that she can't interfere. It doesn't say it in the contract, and it doesn't say it in her song. So really, she's scot-free until she starts trying to blast people to smithereens. I say vaporization should be grounds for a lighter sentence because it's less wasteful. Dude! Okay, fine. Hades. Insurrection. Frollo. False witness against Esmeralda, abusing his power to bring Phoebus from the front lines of the war back to Paris to deal with his own prejudices, and the attempted murder of the Miller's family and Quasimodo. So, he's kind of one of the worst. Prince Hans! Two counts of attempted murder, the first of which being an assassination attempt on the monarch, and the second of which being willful negligence. The Wicked Witch! Ah, going classic on me, I see. Once again, two counts of attempted murder, both of which being attempted towards Snow White. So, not effective attempted murder, but attempted murder nonetheless. Mother Gothel! Kidnapping, unlawful imprisonment there at the end, and the attempted murder of Flynn Rider. Jeez, man, there is a lot of murder! I know. We should really look into that. In fact, the least villainous of the entire Disney world is Gaston. Sure, he's a jerk, but that's not a crime. It's not a crime to go, Marry me! Marry me! Please marry me, I have no friends! It's just, you know, 
desperate and creepy. Really, his only crimes are blackmail and bribery. Do you even hear yourself? Objectively. Objectively, not as bad. That's all I have for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If this video made you smile, share it with someone else so that they can smile. Spread that joy around a little bit. And if you want to see more of my face, then please subscribe so that you can know whenever I post something new. And I'll see you nerds and nerdettes next time. Bye-bye!